Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is a new playlist of our DAX functions where we will only cover DAX functions from scratch. So we will study each and every DAX function which we required in our report. So we have various categories guys in our DAX functions and we will cover up step by step. So this is the first class of DAX series. So we will only cover these topics. I know guys, some of you maybe are aware of these topics, but this channel is for beginners guys. So I will start from scratch, but step by step, I will also add some advanced DAX functions. And those who are new to this channel, so I would request go and watch this YouTube channel where we have covered each and every concept in detail. This course is really helpful guys for the beginners. So I would request please go and subscribe this channel to learn Power BI from scratch. Let's get back to our topic. So firstly guys we will cover up some aggregator functions and we have lot of aggregation functions in Power BI desktop. So we will cover up step by step and our today's class topic is some minimum maximum average and product. So let's start the class guys. So I am adding new page from here look at the data set first so in this table guys i want to sum up this sales function so how do we use some function in power bi so you need to simply go here guys and click on new measure and from here guys you need to rename your measure so let's say the sum of total sales and after equal to sign guys you need to put some function and bracket start now guys you need to look at the parameter so here parameter is column name so you need to select the column name so our column name was sales which is from the sales table so here is the column guys so i will select this column with the help of tab button and close the bracket so here we can see guys our measure has created. Now I will take this cut visual from here. And I simply drag and drop this measure into cut visual. So in this way guys you can use this sum function in Power BI. Now comes to the second DAX function which is minimum. So again we need to follow the same step. I will go here in three dots click new measure and this time i will rename this as minimum value of sales and i will write my function name which is min bracket start and look at the parameters guys the column name or scalar one so i will write here column name so my column name is again sales which is from the sales table and close the bracket and again let me take this card visual let me drag and drop this measure here so here we guys can see our minimum value under this sales column is 400 and in a similar way guys you guys can also create a maximum value you need to go here click on new measure i will write maximum value now i will write my formula max the column name is again sales close the bracket now i will take card visual and drag and drop here let me format this to the exact value so if i go here in table and here we can see the maximum value is 1440 under the sales column now guys we will study this average function so here are 20 rows guys so we will calculate average that means it will sum up of total sales column and divided by 20. let's go back to the report page and this time guys i will create average measure so let me rename into average guys now i will use my formula our column name is again sales and close the bracket 
simply you need to click this checkbox so here is the average guys which is 5.71k now let's understand this product dax function so to make you understand this product i have to create one small table so i will go here in enter data and i will change the header name as values let's say i will put it here 2 4 and 3 that's it load so now i will tell you guys how this product function works so let's go to the data set first you can see we have just only three values so if i use this product function so our result would be 24 i will tell you how so this 2 multiply by 4 is 8 8 multiply by 3 is 24 so let's check the product dax functions guys i will go here and click on new measure and this time i will use product so here i will entering my dax formula and i will simply use the values which is from the table and close the bracket now let's check guys our result is 24 or not so again let me take this card visual simply with this measure so here guys our result is 24 so in this way guys our product function will work i hope guys now you have understanding about these basic dax aggregators so guys we have start this series from this basic dax function and gradually we will move to the advanced dax functions so stay connect with us and kindly support this channel and those who are new to this channel please hit the like button and subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon guys else you will miss an update thank you very much